Hello everybody! In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about the point slope form equation of a line. From before, we said that a line has a slope intercept form equation, which is y equals mx plus b, in which the m represents the slope of the line and the b is the y intercept of that line. Today, we are going to learn the point slope form, which is the difference between these two forms it stays in the point which is going to be used. When we say slope intercept form, the intercept used, this is exactly the y intercept. So this point where the line intercepts the x axis, this is going to be used in the slope intercept form. But in point slope form, the point, it can be any other point from the line. So the difference between the two forms it stays in the point that is going to be used. If we know the slope, the, uh, if we know the y-intercept, then we use the slope-intercept form. If the y-intercept is not given, then we are going to use the point-slope form. And let's see. Write the equation in point-slope form for a line given information about the line in this graph. What do we know about the line? We know the slope and we know the point on the line. This point is not the y-intercept because it should have the x0. So we write slope is 3 and the given point is negative 1, negative 2. So direct to write the slope intercept form, I cannot. Then what do I write? The point slope form. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And the slope is 3. I will substitute for m. Here I put 3. This is point x1, y, y coordinate. So y1, it will be negative 2. And x1, it will be negative 1. I take it left to right and substitute. I will get y Neg minus a negative, 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 it will be plus 2, positive 2, equals. The slope is 3, so I put 3 times, open bracket x. Negative, negative, it will be positive, plus 1. And this is the point slope form of the line. The point is given, slope is given, so then we can write y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. The point x1, y1, y1 coordinate and the slope. So the y1, it will be 6. x1, it will be negative 4. And the slope, it is 8. Then we substitute y minus 6 equals 8. Negative, negative, it will be x plus 4. And that's all done. In the next example here, in the next question, the slope equals to 0. Remember that slope is the ratio rise to run. And we get slope 0 if the rise is 0. So there between the points, we have only run. So it's a run between the points, which means the y-coordinate, it will be the same. So without doing any kind of calculus, any horizontal line, it has the equation y equals the constant. In our case, y is 1, so the equation, it will be y equals to 1. Again, slope is 0, so y equals negative 4. The slope is given, so y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. The slope, negative 2 to 5. Negative 8, it's the x1. And the y1, it is 5. We substitute y minus 5 equals negative 2 to 5. x, negative, negative, plus 8. A construction company charges $50 per hour, which means each hour 
they charge $15. So this is going to be the change. Rate of change, this is going to be, in fact, the slope. We said that slope also, it is called the rate of change. So from here, direct we can write slope is 15. So charge is $15 per hour for debris removal. Plus, so in this sentence, it's about the charge. We can write charge is $15 per hour times each hour. They tell us plus. A one-time fee for the use of the trash dumpers. So, do we know this fee? We do not know it. Then, I'm going to use F from fee variable. The total fee for nine hours of service. So, if the total money, the total charge for nine hours of service, it will be $195. So, the money they have to pay. Depends on the number of the hours. Then I can write this information in the form of a point. I can write it as a point. X independent and Y dependent. The money, they depend on hours. So 9, it will be the X hour. And the money, it will be the Y. Now, they say, write the point slow form of the equation. To write I can answer this question in two ways. As long as I know the slope and I know the point on a line, I can find the fee, the y interest, by substituting into this. But here the question is, write the point slope form. So then I'm going to answer the question in the way I was asked. And I will write for the beginning the rule. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. The slope, we said, is 15, and the point, x is 9, and y, 195. So here, 195, and here I put the 9. Substitute, y minus 195 equals to 15, x minus 9. So this is the point slope form. In the same question they say write the equation in slope intercept form to get this form I can do it in two ways or I use the point and slope and I substitute into here or or the point slope form equation that I found I am going to solve it for y we know that the slope intercept form it is y equals m x plus b yes for y. So then I will solve for y plus 195 on both of the sides. It will be y equals distribute the 15, so 15x minus 15 times 9, it's 135. Plus 195. Was it like this? Yes. So it will be y equals 15x negative 135 plus, it will be a plus 60. From this equation, I understand that per hour, charge they charge $15, and this is the fee that they have to pay it at the beginning. The last part I have to answer, what is the fee for the use of a trash tamper? Already I answer it from here. So the fee, it will be $60. Thank you.